Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, it's Mike from The Pipe Doctor. I just want to do a quick little video on boiler pressure reducing valves and why we discontinued using uh, the Taco half inch boiler feed valve, the model uh, 329T3, uh, which is a cast iron body um, boiler pressure reducing valve for low pressure uh, systems. Uh, we've been installing the Kalefis the uh, auto fill with the um, pressure reducing valve, you know, built onto it. They come with a cool little pressure gauge. Um, the ones with the backflow and the ones without the backflow. So I'm going to show you. I'm just uh, running back to the truck. Just wanted to uh, show you those two, and just finishing up repairing this uh, slant fin century gas fired boiler we're over in auburn new york which is part of the rockaways and uh here's the old taco right which was stuck in the closed position and as you can see it's filled with crap literally and it failed and what we do when we have to take out a taco pressure reducing valve we install the kalefi now again it's a little dirty right now still I haven't cleaned up yet but um, <clears throat> this is the Kalefi half inch. What's great about this valve is that we have an adjustment dial right on top to dial in exactly where we want the pressure to be. And we have a backup uh, pressure gauge to show you exactly where the pressure is in the system. So let me just uh, close up this boiler drain. It would be nice if they weren't missing the actual knob off of it. Whatever. All right, now as you can see, the pressure is at zero. Boiler's still kind of hot. And um, there was this nipple here. We had the Taco pressure reducing valve there. Nipple backflow was back there. So uh, I just attached the half inch backflow directly onto the uh, Kalefi and uh, made up the difference with uh, two press uh, couplings. Literally, this took me 90 seconds from cutting to ready to turn water on. So we're going to fill up the system right now. All right, and momentarily we'll see the pressure start to rise. Right now on the top we're set for 15, which is okay. And our pressure is slow, slowly starting to rise up. You know, we've got the rattling of the check valve going on right now. A few months ago I put in the Kalefi automatic air vent. You can tell we love Kalefi. But uh, as you can see, the pressure gauge is reading a little over 20 PSI. And our Kalefi is saying right around, right under 15. So it's good to have a backup in any case, redundancy. But we know that this gauge is not accurate because of what this one's telling us right there. And so now I'm just going to purge the, the, the split uh, zone and get the system up and running. If you have any questions about these Kalefi pressure reducing valves on why we prefer them over Taco, you know, feel free to drop a comment down below and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely fashion. Uh, again, and, and I'd like to thank everyone for the support to our YouTube channel. Uh, you know, four or six months ago, you know, we had under 100 subscribers and now we're almost at 250. So I really, really appreciate it. And I can't tell you how many calls uh, a week we get in the office when someone saw one of our YouTube videos, they have more questions or they're in the area and they want to schedule a service call. You know, it's great that we're actually, you know, Give, you know, helping back, you know, trying to, I don't want to say give back, uh, but help out the community, you know, because a lot of these videos, like relighting a pilot, uh, can save you an emergency service call. You know, there are instructions on all these boilers on how to relight a pilot. Now, this one's electronic ignition, so that doesn't, doesn't need that. And if, you'll know you have electronic ignition if you have a box similar to this. All right, guys, thanks for watching.